Three, two, one, action. <laughs> I was wanted to do that. <laughs> Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Timmy from Pure Kicks, back with another performance review. And as you guys can see by the title and by what's in my hand, today we're talking about the Under Armour Curry 5. Let's get it. So getting straight into the shoe, starting with the aesthetics. The Curry 5 is a very clean looking shoe. Definitely a shocker because it's the first low top of the whole Curry line, but it does the absolute trick. Personally, I'm pretty surprised he's gone to a low top considering he has pretty obvious and well-known ankle issues, but I guess it must work for him. So therefore it better work for everyone else. So when we're talking materials, the Curry 5 has a full knit construction along with what Under Armour calls anafoam containment zones all the way across the forefoot, the lateral zone and in the heel. Best things about the material is that they're light, flexible and do feel really good on feet and actually work super well with the fit of the shoe. So when we're talking knits in any shoe, durability takes a hit. However, the knit is great for comfort and the anaphone works really well for the lockdown part of the shoe. One thing I was super happy about with the materials is the break in time was minimal. Which is actually a shock because even to this day, the Kari 4 is still not broken in. So, good job. Kari 4, not so much, but yeah, good job Kari 5. So with all that being said, the materials comes in at a very strong 8 out of 10. Very good. So moving on to the fit, which actually goes hand in hand with the materials, we do have an asymmetric lacing system, which holds the foot amazingly well, along with the anaphone we spoke about earlier. The knit construction not only works well for that comfort, but is perfect for that one-to-one -one fit. And you really get that sock-like feeling when putting them on. So when we're talking sizing of the Curry 5, they fit pretty true to size. So whatever size you normally get, get that size. And if we're talking if they're wide or regular or narrow, they're regular. Well, they're like a regular narrow or a narrow regular. So closer to narrow than it is to wide, even though it's in the middle as regular. So like regular. <laughs> so with all that being said, the fit also comes in at a very strong eight out of 10. You're doing well, you know, you're doing bits. So moving on to my next favorite part of the shoe, the traction. The Curry 4 has a modified herringbone pattern with a madness of a pivot point. I don't really know what it is. It's like some square diamond circle thingamajig, but it's mad. I don't really know what it's doing or why it's there. I didn't do my pivoting, I probably did, but it's a madness. It's a madness. The traction itself held up pretty well. Not incredibly like it's Big Brother the Curry 4, but it held up pretty well. As you guys can see from the clips, there's a lot of dust on the bottom of the shoe, which just collected and stayed there, which of course doesn't help when you're trying to do curry-like moves, but the traction did its thing. There are areas on the shoe where the traction wraps up to the side of the shoe, which gives you that kind of drag option, but all in all, it did the trick, but not the amazing trick. Just like a, like a, a trick. Regular trick. Regular, like, trick in it. So as always, when we talk traction, we talk about if you can play with them outdoors as well. When we're talking this colorway in the Curry 5, it's going to be a no. The grooves are pretty shallow and it's a translucent sole, which are two of the things you don't need when it comes to playing outdoors. A solid rubber colorway might just do the trick, but it wouldn't hold up for very long. All in all, I'd say keep them indoors. So with all that being said, the Curry 5 traction comes in at an above average 7 out of 10, which isn't bad, but it's not great either. So next up, we're talking about support. In the Curry 5, we've got the usual suspects of an outrigger, the vampire fang hill counter, and the anaphone material, which actually goes all the way around to help with lateral support. So the support itself isn't great, only because it being a low top design for Steph Curry and those ankle problems we mentioned earlier, it's almost designed to be wore with an ankle brace as he does. The knit material is cored out completely to allow that brace to sit comfortably. So the support's not gonna be great unless you've got an ankle support on as well. So it's not awesome, but it's okay. So basically what you're saying is the support by itself right now is not complete. Ain't complete. So what I gotta do is I gotta got buy an ankle brace. Sold separately. Battery's not included. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, support comes in at a six out of 10. The support itself just isn't complete unless you've got an ankle brace, which I don't and I ain't gonna buy. So, incomplete support. So last and definitely least, the cushioning. It's EVA. 
that's it. From here to here, to here. And there's not much of it. Not a lot. So there's no charged foam? Ain't got no charge. There's no nothing, it's just EVA. You just got EVA. You can have a little bit. Just a little bit. And that's all you get. <laughs> so on the one side, for those players who love that responsive court feel, yeah, taken care of because you're, the court is there. You feel the court because there's nothing else. On the other side of those guards who love impact protection, uh, love comfort, those these things, love their knees, not so much. Not so much. So with all that being said, the cushioning comes in at a six. It's there, but not really. Court feel, responsiveness, your knees. I'll go with my knees. Pick your poison, bro. I'm gonna need those. <laughs> I need those to walk. Hey, I see what you did there. I'm gonna need those. Hey, I see, oh. what you did there. I see what you did there. That was lit. That was lit. Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so, after taking everything into consideration, when we're talking an overall score, the Curry 5 comes in at a 7 out of 10. Above average, but not incredible. The materials and the fit were absolutely fantastic hand in hand, which worked like a charm, super light, super flexible, and fit like a glove. The traction was pretty good, but just let down with the support and the cushioning. So seven out of 10 is a score that definitely makes sense for the Curry 5. So all right guys, that's the end of the review. As always, show your support by hitting that like button. It really helps us out a lot, and we really appreciate it for everyone who already has. As always, comment down below if you plan on picking up a pair of the Curry 5s for yourself. If you've already got a pair, comment down below how they worked for you, because we'd love to know. Don't forget to follow us on both Instagram and Twitter. The Instagram is purekicks.ig and the Twitter is purekicks underscore TW. And last but definitely not least, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys are up to date with everything to do with Pure Kicks. Our unboxings, our performance reviews, NBA talks, all you have to do is hit the bell next to the subscribe button and of course the subscribe button so you can get notified every time we drop a new video. So all right guys, that's it from me. This is the Under Armour Curry 5. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it. <laughs>